everybody, this is Praxis. Because we're getting closer to a point where I might be able to start building, I was thinking about maybe taking a little bit more seriously the idea of staying in shape. Now, if you guys watch me on my channel all the time, you know I'm a lanky guy, yeah, I'm not the big muscle guy, but for anyone, no matter what your body form, if you're going to be doing work, you're better off having a little bit more muscle on your body because then when you're doing the work, the load and the effort is going into the muscle instead of having to like strain your joints and things. And I know what it's like when you know you have less muscle on your body, you end up like you know, really putting a lot of strain on your joints, like I said, and that can lead to, you know, very easily lead to injuries. And I want to avoid that while I'm doing the build because, you know, an injury puts you out of commission for several days. So I've been trying to get more serious about staying in shape. I've been doing uh, three days per week. I do on, a, on for a day, skip a day, on for a day, skip a day, on for a day, and then I skip two days, and then that kind of keeps me sunk up for the week. So I'm always kind of doing it on the same days of the week. You know, that I've been able to make that work with my schedule. The types of exercises that I'm doing are, you know, kind of uh, not high impact kind of stuff, but just stuff to really uh, get the muscles, you know, exercised, stretched, and, you know, keeping them to some degree of strength so that I can actually use them. Uh, and I'm trying to do exercises where I'm, uh, you know, lifting a load and then like holding it in that position for a little bit and then release. And I think that that's probably just good for your body in general, but it's also uh, really good uh, as a sort of preparation for doing construction work because, you know, when you are doing construction work, you're lifting up some boards and you don't just like dead drop them to the ground and scream as soon as you lift the boards up. You like lift the boards up and you have to hold them for a while while you carry them somewhere. So I'm trying to do exercises that are sort of emulating that. I kind of jump back and forth where I'll do uh, ex exercise with my lower, my upper body and uh, like do a set of that and then I'll do a set of exercise with my lower body or core or something like that and then go back to that upper body again uh, and then go back to the core again. And I kind of alternate back and forth, back and forth and that gives a little bit of rest time to the muscles, uh, you know, you know, I'll, I'll exercise, say, like, my, some day, uh, exercise my biceps, and then I'll go down and exercise, like, my core for a little bit. And then, you know, about a minute later, I'm back to the biceps and then back to the core. And I kind of bounce back and forth like that, so it gives them a little bit of rest, um, you know, but, uh, but it keeps it efficient with the time. I've been spending about 40 minutes, uh, you know, on each of the days where I exercise, 30 to 40 minutes, sometimes a little bit more, uh, you know, doing the exercises. And, you know, really, three days a week, 30 minutes or so, it's like an hour and a half out of the whole week, and I think it's time really well spent because when I am out there and I am working and, you know, I've really got to get stuff done, I don't want to be getting injured and having that extra bit of muscle mass on my body, not only is going to make the work easier, but it's going to make it much less likely that I'm going to be injured. And that is good for construction or in a collapse event, emergency situation, it's the same kind of thing. You get a little bit more muscle on your body, get yourself a little more fit, and you're going to be able to ride through those kind of events with a lot less strain and a lot less chance of injury. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.